Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to add testimonials slider to Shopify. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, we'll be showing you ways or different ways to add testimonials into your Shopify store. So first thing we need to do here is we need to go to shopify.com and log in into your account and open up the store that you want to add your testimonials. Now, in this case, we have this website here and our store here. So first thing or first option that I'll be showing you is to install an app via the app store for Shopify. Now, in this case, by default, the testimonials option on Shopify is not available. So we need to install a application for that. So in this case, you want to click on the app section here and immediately it's going to add the apps tag here. And from here, just type in the following, which is going to be testimonials and just press on enter. It's going to open up the Shopify app store. And from here, you should be able to see different applications that actually uh, gives you the option to add testimonials. So there's going to be different applications here that you could use, like for example, the looks uh, product reviews and photos, reviews, importer, testimonials, and a lot more. But usually this applications doesn't actually come for free. So sometimes they come with a specific uh, free available plan but it's going to be something that's going to be really limited and you want to uh, you won't be able to do much on it and yeah so you could choose whatever application that you want to use here and from there it's actually pretty easy there's a whole onboarding process on the application itself so you just need to follow the steps that they'll be giving you and from there you should be able to add the testimonials on your shop but in this case, we also have another option here, which is going to be outside. So outside is a great website for you to build widgets that you could add into your stores uh, without having to code anything. So without coding anything, you'll be able to immediately add whatever you want. Or well, for example, you, have, you want to add testimonials, you can do this on outside. So you have two options here. So you have the option to log in or sign up for free. So by the way, the website itself is going to be outside.com. Now in this case, if you click on sign up for, uh, free here, it's going to give you three options. So you have the manual way of continuing with your email, or you could go ahead and continue with your Facebook account or with your Google account. So choose whatever account or method you want to use here. But since I already have my account, I'm going to go ahead and log in into my account. And from here, I'm just going to choose my account. But once I'm logged in, we are now ready to add our applications or our widgets. Now, first things first is going to be the home page or the admin page for outside. So first thing is we need to add the application for testimonials slider here. Just click on add new app. From here, go to search. Just type in testimonials. Just press on enter. And from here, choose the option for testimonial slider. Now, once you click on it, it's going to load up the next page we're in. And you'll be able to start creating your widget. Now, in this case, they have different options here. Like for example, we have the slider, carousel, cards. So whatever format you want to use here, you could go ahead and use that. Now, we also have the customer story here. If you want to uh, basically uh, make it more personalized and intimate, so you could use this option here. Now, for example, we want to use this slider here. And from here, just click on continue with this template. Now, from here, you could go ahead and start editing the testimonials that you have. You could even uh, edit the text itself, the name from uh, the other of it, the caption, the date uh, on it, the picture, and a lot more. Now, if you're done, just click on done at the top right here, and you can go ahead and edit all those details that is available here. Now, also, you have the option to uh, click on the three dot icon here, which is an action. So you have the duplicate and delete options. So if you want to add additional testimonials, just click on add testimonial here. We also have the layout here if you want to change the layout for the testimonials. Now, here we have our uh, image here for testimonials. So show captions, uh, show verified badge if you want to add that. Also have the appearance here. So if you want to change the color for it, as you can see, you will be able to change uh, some aspects on it. So if you want to do that. Now we also have the option to change this to dark if you want to use that. And the settings here, which is uh, has the option for changing the language, the schema, the sorting. So open links in UTF if you want to enable that as well. But in this case, once you've done that, uh, once you've edited all the uh, things that you need to edit here, just click on the publish button at the top right of your screen. And from here, it's going to say changes were published. 
Now, in this case, what we need to do is just hit on close at the top, right? And it's going to redirect us back into our dashboard here. Now, from our dashboard here, make sure that you're under testimonial sliders and you are able to see the testimonial slider or widget that you just recently created. Now, in this case, just click on install here and we have different options to integrate this into our website. So we have a Shopify option here, but what I like to do here is I could actually use the copy code here. So just go ahead and click on copy code here and we could go back into our store, go to online store, go to teams, click on customize. And from here, we could just basically add a section. So maybe we want to add a section here for a very specific section, like for example, a custom liquid here. Go ahead and click on that and you could just basically paste your code here once you've done that, hit on save at the top right. And usually it's going to reload itself and you should be able to see the changes that you've made. Now, and here, what we need to do is we need to exit. Just click on exit at the top left. And from here, let's just view our online store here. And from here, you should be able to see your changes. So typically, it might take some time. So just wait for it to load up. But once it loads up, you should be able to see your testimonies here, as you can see right now. Now, yeah, so depending on how you actually edit your uh, testimonials on outside here, the details should be updated, but that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.